Hi guys, I recently picked up a fancy A7 IV and people in my comments section have been asking about the 1080p quality coming out of the camera and the truth is I didn't really know because I hadn't tried it, but I'm a man of the people so I'm gonna give the people what they want, but I'm glad that the people wanted that because I actually found out something uh, super interesting. Let's talk about it. Oh, that is a tasty apple juice right there. Now, for those of you who have seen the uh, Jason Morris video, that Australian bodybuilding son of a gun, he did a, a video about uh, HD, clear image zoom, and APS-C, and I will address that in this video as well. It is definitely relevant, And uh, but let's talk for a second about uh, why you might want HD, even though you've got a fancy a7 IV with great 4K. Well, file size is a concern for a lot of people, you know, so uh, they want smaller file sizes. So generally the HD file will be smaller than the 4K, or is it? There is a caveat to that and uh, we'll get into that as well. And also too, uh, when it comes to it, uh, people might not have a computer that can deal with uh, the 4K or they, they just don't want to have the trouble. So they would rather a 1080 file. And this video will definitely be very relevant to those people for sure. So let's get right into the test. The first thing I will show is the way I use the camera and the way a lot of people use the camera. They use it 4K, 100 megabits per second, 422, 10-bit on the XAVC HS codec. Uh, this is Sony. They've given us this in the a7 IV and I'm very glad. It gives a very high quality image, uh, but the file size isn't so huge. And so uh, here's the first clip of that. This is me in my alleyway here, the way I would shoot my camera normally. And next I will show you the 1080 footage, full frame 1080 footage. And as you can see, it has a lot. Uh, it's basically the file size is cut in half and uh, it is a bit of a softer image. And uh, now you may not, if you, depending on what device you're on, you might not be able to see this softness. So let's uh, zoom in here to my beautiful eyes. Oh, look at that. And as you cut back and forth, you can see that the 1080 is definitely much softer than the 4K, as you would probably expect. Cut and dried, right? 4K is sharper than 1080, and that's what everybody would expect. Not so fast. There is a way to get a sharper 1080 image than the regular 1080, and that is if you use APS-C crop mode on the camera. Let's take a look at that now. Now, this is the 1080 image, but it's APS-C. I just took a couple of steps back, and uh, this is sharper than the 1080 full frame regular. So let's just uh, zoom in on my gorgeous, gorgeous eyes again, and you will see uh, that the APS-C mode is definitely sharper than the regular 1080 mode in full frame. However, it is still, of course, not as sharp as the 4K. Just comparing my soulful blue eyes in 1080 APS-C mode to 4K, you will still see there's a nice bit more sharpness in 4K. So there you go. Now you might think the APS-C mode is the way to go in terms of having a small file size and it's fairly sharp compared to the 4K. So, you know, case closed, not so fast. There is another way to get a smaller file size, but a much sharper image than the 1080 APS-C mode. Let's take a look at that. So first up, we'll look at 4K XAVC HS 50 megabits per second this time, 50. And uh, now you see these 235 megabytes of storage, which is exactly the same as when you did APS-C crop mode. So, uh, and if you zoom in on my just fantastic eyes, then you will see that it is a nice bit sharper in the uh, 4K, but it doesn't stop there. If you are willing to go to 30 megabits per second, let's take a look at that. So now we have 4K XAVCHS 30 megabits per second, 10 bit 420, not 422, 420. And as you can see, that is 168 megabits of me megabytes of storage. Sorry about all the megabits and megabytes, but it is 168 megabytes of storage, which is much less than the 235 megabytes of storage of the APS-C. So if sharpness and small file size is what you're after, then I would say shoot in uh, 4K uh, XAVC HS 50 megabits per second or 30 if you want even smaller file sizes, but you do lose the 422. You just have 420. 
I did do a studio test where I tested all of the 4K and all of the HD, including the uh, the all eye codecs, and uh, I'll put that at the end of the video so that you can just see them for yourself. But there's no real sense in talking about them because you will see the same thing that I saw if you're looking at a screen that is large enough. The, the all I codecs are just huge file sizes and they don't increase your quality at all in the situations I was filming in. Now, if you're shooting waterfalls or really fast moving things like uh, leaves or, or sporting events, the all I uh, codecs might help you and they also might help you edit. It's, uh, it's easier to edit because it's less compressed, it's easier for your computer, but the price you pay for that are huge file sizes. So I never use that and I can discern no difference in quality doing the tests that I did, but still they'll be at the end for you to see them if you want. And now I'll talk about the Jason Morris test that he did. I also tried out APS-C mode plus clear image zoom. And uh, basically the minute I employed clear image zoom, it uh, degraded the quality somewhat. And uh, I'll just show you right now. So this is the regular APS-C mode right here. And now I've gone into clear image zoom at 1.1 times. Already the quality has gone down a little bit here on my monitor. Then I zoomed into uh, 1.5 times clear image zoom and it's starting to become apparent that uh, the quality is lessening. And then uh, to 2.0, uh, once you zoom into 2.0, it's quite apparent as you might expect once again, let's go with the uh, lovely, lovely eyes of Mark Bennett here. We'll uh, zoom in at the 2.0 versus the uh, the clear, the no clear image zoom at all regular APS-C mode. So to me, the takeaways from this are, if you're looking for the highest quality with the smallest file size, go with the X4K XAVC HS, but use 50 megabits per second or 30 megabits per second, depending on your preference. And that will give you the highest quality at the lowest file size. If you need to use 1080, if for some reason your editing software, whatever it is, or your client, the demand, it has to be done in 1080, then I would use APS-C mode and that is all. Uh, once you use clear image zoom, it starts to degrade the quality. Uh, and uh, so stick with just regular, APS-C mode if you're shooting in 1080. It seems to me that the full frame 1080 is some form of line skipping and uh, whereas the APS-C mode is more of a one-to-one -one pixel readout so it's a it's a sharper image at least that's my theory so uh, take that for what it's worth. Anyway thanks for watching I hope you found this helpful you know at least you got to look deep into my soul. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already and uh, we'll talk to you again soon. Okay bye-bye. Oh, here's all those studio tests on my face. Have fun.